we were done with the creek crossing but this is another one hopefully the last one come on patrick you got it don't fall down so good to be hiking back in the woods again after a month today i'm hiking in the delaware water gap national recreation area which is right on the border of western new jersey and pennsylvania not actually that far from the border of new york as well this trail that i'm doing it's called the mount tammany trail which gives you some amazing views of the delaware water gap and the delaware river down below not a very long trail but similar to most trails in this part this neck of the woods it's steep and rocky By the way today is our 15th of April good friday easter weekend and it feels great not just good to be out here it feels great to be back in the woods again so that was a quick stop on the summit of mount tammany down below was the delaware river and on the other side of the river is pennsylvania that's also the end of the red dot trail from now it's the blue trail to descend back down the mountain from the other side and from there we'll see we can either go back to the parking lot or continue further up along the dunfield creek trail which is really my favorite section of this whole area so we'll descend down the blue trail and then we'll decide what to do next the trail is rocky let's keep going by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel hike with jeet this is the right time to go and subscribe so hit that red button would not ask for better weather conditions It's the middle of April and April historically is a very iffy season. You never really know what to expect. It can be nice, bright and sunny in the 60s or it can be really dreary, cold, maybe even snowy at times. But this is just a perfect uh, spring day. I know what to do. Oh, Hi. gross! That's disgusting, girl. I woke up today morning not feeling full hundred percent, thanks to some really crazy hectic weeks at work. I was contemplating whether I should just roll in my bed or do a hike. The woods definitely have a way to energize you both physically and mentally. I feel really good that I came out here, even though it's only an hour and a half from my house. it still feels a world away really amazing what woods is really amazing the healing power of nature so underrated a walk in the woods by the way if you haven't read the book a walk in the woods by bill bryson who happens to be my favorite travel author definitely read that book there's also a movie by the same name but would definitely read the book instead of watching the movie So I completed the first portion of the trail and now I'm on the Dunfield Creek Trail which will end at the Sunfish Pond which is a rather unique body of water more on Sunfish Pond as we go along but this is a trail which is about 4 miles one way and then on the way back I'm going to take the Appalachian Trail it's obviously called as the Dunfield Creek Trail because you have this creek over here and because of all the snow melt of winter it's rather roaring 
It's pretty interesting. I just hope I don't have to cross this creek many times. I know there are a few crossings which are generally manageable, but we'll see how challenging they are today. Yeah, definitely read a walk in the woods. Yeah, Bill Bryson is my favorite author of all time. So here's my friend Patrick. I finally met somebody else on the trail. Hey, hi Jeet, this is Patrick. Uh, you know, we, I was doing the Dunhill uh, Creek Trail and uh, I met Jeet along the way. And uh, we kind of buddy up since we were just, you know, hiking by ourselves. And he's an awesome guy and, uh, you know, we really have a good conversation. Especially crossing the, you know, the creek. It's like there's so many transverse there. So it's kind of nice to meet someone uh, that we can have a conversation and walk along the trail. Oh, cool. Okay. And Patrick is a science teacher from Queens, New York. I teach so, at Channel V School for Research. Okay, okay. So this is his ideal place. This is his outdoor classroom. And he's super excited to be here today. And this is the first time you're right. coming to this? To this trail. To this, to this trail, trail, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. First time yeah. coming to this trail. Yeah. Very nice. The uh, sunfish pond is very unique. I don't know if you know. I never went up there. So the sunfish pond is a glacial lake. Okay, so, okay, so it's filled from underneath by water table, just fills it up. Yeah, all the so time. in the last ice age, which right. ended 11,000 years yeah, ago, yeah, 12, 13,000 years yeah, ago. Yeah, so the glacier, so the glacier retreated, retreated and it left the lake. There's a lot of that, we call them, yeah. uh, you know, uh, glacier lakes, that's, that's nice. And this lake also marks the southernmost extent of the North American ice sheet. So there were no, there was no glacier south of here. Well, okay, okay. So this is that the southernmost section of the extent of the ice sheet. That was like where. Come on, Patrick, you got it. Don't fall down. Patrick is a champ. You are a champ. So, Patrick, when are you going to hike the Appalachian Trail? Yeah, Glacial Pond is one of the seven natural wonders of New Jersey. Due to its natural acidic composition, only a few hardy species of fish such as pumpkin sit, sunfish and yellow perch can survive. Interesting. It's a nice place to have a break or bike to eat. Serene, for sure. Yeah, the pandemic had one positive thing that came out. Right? A lot of people. A lot of people came out. Oh, they started enjoying outdoors. Started hiking. You know, a lot of people don't want to go back to the city and all that. I guess so. People, close. yeah, people I left the city. Yeah, mm -hmm. people went into the suburbs. People went into some of the Western we states, you know, people who could afford there, yeah, they got ranches and big, yeah, and big lodges. Then they started questioning themselves what's important in life, you know, it's like uh, when you hear people dying back and forth, and, yeah, you know, yeah. like so many people die, man. And, uh, A lot of people realize it's not worth, you know, like working so hard. So you could die anytime, so might as well 
enjoy the time you have while and you're alive. And that's a new thinking that occurred during that time. A lot of people says, you know what, I'd rather deal with less and enjoy life, you know what I mean, than to have a lot and mm. you die soon, you know. They say that, right? It's it's not the years in your life that matter, but the life in those years. Something like that. Right? You just don't want to just live as long as possible, but you want to really enjoy the moment and really live those the years. Moment. Yeah. Uh, no, we're going down here a little while. Okay. Uh, enjoy. So I guess this is where Patrick and I say goodbye. I think Patrick has a lot more stamina, so he's going to do another trail, which is going to add another, I don't know how many miles, I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't be a whole lot of miles, but uh, I just want to say, uh, gee, thanks, man. It was nice to uh, walk along with you at Dun Dunville Creek and also the uh, AT Appalachian Trail. And uh, I want to say it uh, was really, really nice. And uh, yeah, it was. I hope we it meet was up a together. really nice experience. I'm just going to uh, go and transverse because that was my what I wanted okay. to do to do a little transverse. But I should be back very shortly. Sure, sure. Uh, it was a great experience meeting you. Yeah. And I hope we meet again. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's definitely you never yeah. know. I'll, I'll let All me, right. Again. Bye, Patrick. Take care. Nice, talk to nice talking to you. There goes Patrick, he's doing the yellow trail. Not really sure where that trail ends, but he seems to know where he's going. So good luck to Patrick. And I'm going to go along the AT to the car park. The AT is not very interesting. It's a bit rocky, a bit featureless, but at least it's not as difficult. And there are no stream crossings for God's sake. So it shouldn't take more than an hour to get back to the car park. Time to end this video from a rather noisy interstate to my side but thoroughly enjoyed this hike I somehow cobbled up four different trails the red, the blue, the green and the white to make it a memorable 13 mile hike It was full of adventure with numerous creek crossing it was just a beautiful day out today Also met Patrick who just happened to be a random person hiking and we just hiked for 3-4 to four hours together which is pretty interesting in its own right and then finally the sunfish pond that has its own unique geological history. Definitely my favorite hike in all of New Jersey. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite hike in the state that you reside in. Until next time, it's bye. You never know what you will find in a forest. <laughs> and, uh, that's good. Okay. Get some nice, nice I think we should let it go.